Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, service located design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram. Before watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, service located design pattern introduction where I have explained what is service located design pattern and what is the use of uh, service located design pattern etc. So first watch that video tutorial and then come and watch uh, this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this tutorial very clearly. Uh, first you will see the class diagram of uh, service located design pattern. Uh, this is the class diagram of uh, service located design pattern. Uh, the first class is uh, target. Target will be the service object. Okay, Example of service object are JMS uh, service or EJB service. And uh, next one is uh, registry service. Uh, usually uh, we will use uh, JND registry service. This uh, JND registry service uh, is used to maintain uh, service object as a key value pair okay. and uh, next class is uh, service locator basically it will be a singleton class singleton class means uh, constructor will be private and uh, uh, it will have one method uh, get instance method uh, that will be a static method okay so if you call that method it will uh, return the service locator instance and uh, the service locator uh, will use uh, initial context object so uh, first it will create the initial context object and using the initial context object uh, it will look up the service object using the jnda name okay uh, so that is the main work of uh, service locator also this service locator uh, maintains the hash so why we are using hash is uh, to improve the performance uh, suppose say a client is uh, make uh, making call to the service locator asking uh, service object okay then what this service locator will do is uh, first it will check this uh, the service object is there in the hash or not uh, if uh, it is there in the hash uh, from the hash it will get the service object and return it to the client uh, suppose the service object is not there in the hash uh, it will make uh, uh, JNDA lookup call to the uh, JNDA registry service using the JNDA name and uh, uh, so once you make it make the calls to the uh, JNDA registry uh, registry service uh, the JNDA registry service will uh, uh, give the service object back to the service locator uh, to make call to the registry service it will use the initial context so once uh, service locator get the service object from the registry service uh, it will put that uh, service object to the hash for the future use okay this is how uh, the whole uh, flow will work uh, next we will see the sequence diagram of uh, service locator design pattern uh, so here you can see client and the service locator which is a singleton class and initial context uh, which is used to do the JND lookup uh, to the JND registry service hash uh, which is used to maintain the service object in the local uh, and registry service uh, usually it will be a JND registry service it maintains uh, service object as a key value pair key will be the service name value will be the service object and target uh, it will be the JMS uh, service object or EJB service object or data source service object etc so the the sequence starts from here uh, the client will uh, make service locator uh, asking uh, get instance get instance of this service locator uh, object okay then uh, the service locator will create the initial context and it will also create a hash then uh, once it uh, done this basic setup the service locator will return uh, instance a service locator instance to the client so using the service locator instance the client will uh, uh, make call to the service locator asking uh, the target target is nothing but a service object so service locator will uh, do the remote lookup uh, to the JNDA registry service asking the uh, target okay so the registry service will uh, give the target back to the service locator target is nothing but a service object okay and uh, once it get the target it will put the target to the hash for the future use and uh, uh, after putting the target to the hash uh, the service locator will return uh, target back to the client so once uh, client got the uh, target reference uh, it can make call to the target object okay it can invoke methods on the target object uh, 
so this is how the whole flow will work okay and next time uh, if client asks the same target to the service locator what service locator will do is uh, first it will look look in the hash so hash the service locator object is uh, sorry in the hash if the service object is available then from the hash it will get the service object and return it to the client it won't make the uh, remote uh, lookup okay so this this is how uh, uh, we can improve the performance using the hash so basically uh, client will uh, ask service locator for the target uh, service locator first it will check hash it is in the hash the target is there or not if it is there it will uh, take uh, service object from the hash and return it to the return it to the client if uh, the service object is not there in the hash then it will make uh, uh, remote call to the uh, registry service to get the target and once it get the target it will add that target to the target object to the hash for the feature use this is how the whole uh, sequence will work okay and uh, uh, i have created a separate video for uh, how to implement a service locator uh, design pattern i have uh, i have shown the sample code in that video tutorial so please log into my channel and watch that uh, video also if you want to understand more about that uh, more about this uh, service locator design pattern and uh, this is about uh, service locator design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram and thanks for watching bye